I call the member for Hughes. I thank you, Deputy Speaker. I'm very pleased to hear the member for Lawler put forward the case for more baseload generation coal-fired power stations because that is the only way we are going to get electricity prices down into this country. And Deputy Speaker, I come to um, something I'm very pleased to talk about, and that is, Deputy Speaker, that in the last 12 months, over 400,000 new jobs have been created in this economy. If you think of our great MCG stadium, we could fill every single seat in that stadium four times over and we still couldn't fit in the number of people that had jobs created last year. And most of those jobs, over 300,000 of them, are full time. 70% of them have been created in the private sector. And in my electorate of Hughes, Deputy Speaker, we have our unemployment down to just 2.7%. This is a sensational achievement of the coalition government. And how has it been done, Deputy Speaker? It has not been done by the belief that government creates jobs. In fact, the exact opposite. It has been created by the belief that government destroys jobs. And the way that government actually creates jobs is it gets out of the way. And it leaves it to the private sector to do so. And the theory, Deputy Speaker, I think was best explained by President Ronald Reagan, who yesterday would have been his 107th birthday. One of President Reagan's great quotes, and he said, we who live in free market societies believe that growth, prosperity, and ultimately human fulfilment are created from the bottom up, not from the government down. He said, trust the people. This is the one irrefutable lesson of the entire post-war period, contradicting the notion that rigid government controls are essential to economic development. Hear, hear. But, Deputy Speaker, there are some threats on the horizon to our nation's prosperity. And perhaps the greatest threat is the Labor Party's plans for a 50 per cent renewable energy target. There's, we only have to look at the example of South Australia to see what happens when you implement a 50 per cent renewable energy target. The study showed, Deputy Speaker, that that has delivered that state the highest electricity prices, not just in the nation, but in the entire world. A 50 per cent renewable energy target, the entire world. South Australia now hides that price. And what do we see, Deputy Speaker? Yesterday, on the member for Port Adelaide's Facebook page, he wrote the words, South, South Australia leads the way. Well, they certainly do. We know what the future is if we Order. copy South Australia. We cannot support Labor's 50% renewable energy target.